Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Game Chat. I'm Chris and with me today we have Kate. Hi. We have Sam. Hello. And we have Brian. Hello. <laughs> now, we have all recently uh, got the either the Xbox Series S or the Xbox Series X. Uh, Kate particularly getting the S and the rest of us getting the X. So we're gonna, that me? Yeah. that family going me when Meg's like, you all think you're better than me? That's the <laughs> with their Series X. <laughs> so we're just going to jump into kind of like our thoughts and like review of it. Starting with, just gen- I think we'll probably just start with generally how they look. Um, Kate, do you want to start with yours? Means you're the only one with an S. Yeah. Um, so it, the, the box come in a big Amazon box. And it was a, like the box was very big and the box was very, very heavy. Mm. So it comes in this, this big, big giant box. And then you open the box and he's so tiny. But he is still quite heavy, to be fair. There you go. He's a little very, baby. Very, very small. He's a little baby. He is a little baby. He is quite heavy, though. It is still very heavy. Oh, well, yeah, I can imagine there's a lot packed it's in there. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Mm. See, I, um, I, 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 I thought it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Controller, very, very nice. Not really much different. Very yeah, nice. yeah. As but I've always yeah, preferred the Xbox controller to the PlayStation controller. Are, anyway. the, are the controllers the same, just different colours? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They've got a nice um, sort of, I don't know what the word is. But while we're here with the controllers, we'll talk about the grip to it, isn't it? Yeah, like a plastic grip. We'll talk about the controller while we're here. Like, yeah, the the grip makes the biggest difference, I think. Yeah, it's really nice. I tried holding my Xbox controller the other day, and it's like, it's very slippy compared to this. Um, And I'm still using the batteries that they gave me. I haven't had to change batteries I've had to change them like twice. Yeah, I've had to change mine. (laughs) You know, I was actually surprised it came with batteries. I kind of half expected it to like, you have to have your own. I was quite surprised yourself. about that. But I feel like the uh, the thumbsticks... It's got a different finish as well to it. Mm. Yeah. The thumbsticks seem to have a better grip ones. as well. The old matte one kind black. of felt like shiny, this is a matte. Yeah, exactly, this is matte. Mm. I do really? like the triggers having the grip on as well. I like the new D-pad as well. Yeah. Oh, the, the triggers. I really like that. The old oh, triggers were just slip. Yeah, literally. I've got both here. Like the old triggers are just very slippy and glossy, and your fingers just slip off of them. Especially when you like playing a game and you're sweaty or anything. It's horrible. I mean, it's because they're matte; they get dirty quick. But yeah, like this one, like it's just got better grip, and you, it's got a better feel for it. And I feel like holding this one, it feels like it kind of like leans towards like inside your hands, whereas the other one, the weights towards the back, kind yeah. of. <laughs> it's really was weird. The, uh, was the one X bigger controller? Because I know this feels very small. I don't think so. Because they... like, this is an elite. This is a thing. They're that's the elite, the yeah. Size. But like this uh, is the this is the original it. Xbox uh, One one, and then this is the. It looks very. I mean, on the face of it, they, they look similar. very similar. Um, but like I suppose what whatever's not broke don't really need fixing. But like it's a small like it's the small changes like the D pads very different it's... i'm not so keen about the d-pad i don't know i like it i like it it's very clicky and i like that <laughs> yeah i know what you mean brian do you not like it? About it i mean compared I to the like other it. one the other one just felt just a bit about it. cheap i thought the other the shiny d-pad for the uh, xbox one i'm hoping they do an elite series three now though you'd think with yeah, the yeah, button because then i'll get one of them then yeah, because I was like, I was thinking about getting the Elite controller, but I'm like, they're blatantly going to do another one at some yeah. point. Yeah, so, I'm enjoying well, I love the fact of it. Mm. I love the fact of that they're still releasing Xbox One controllers, special edition ones. It's like there's that Mandalorian one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, it looks sweet, but it's like, it's an Xbox One one. Yeah, yeah. I suppose it's where what most people have got, like. Yeah. In the grand scheme of things at the moment, that's why. Yeah, but the co- the controllers are backwards compatible as well, though. You can that's use true. the Series X controllers yep. on the Xbox One. Would that have performance issues, though? I don't think so, because it's very similar. It's like it's the same controller, basically, but just slight differences. You added a share button, like PlayStation. Yeah. And that that's like, can be a firmware thing on the actual uh, Xbox One yeah. console, because yeah, you update yeah. your controllers anyway on the system. I love that. I love that the first thing you had to update was your controller. Yeah. <laughs> I know Rob complained about that, but I was like, Rob, it's because it's the software, it like making it like the vibrations work and all that. Well, the thing, properly. 
But the update this time was a wireless update, whereas before it's like plug your controller in, yeah. don't unplug it yeah. while it's updating. Now yeah. it's I did like I do like them. I do like the share button. I like where yeah. it's placed. It's very easy to get to. Um and it's just Thank you. it's it's very quick. It's just it's, yeah. it's it's like before on the Xbox One to to get a screenshot, you had to go into the little dashboard menu, like the little side thing. Press I think it was Y or something to capture something. It was like it, with this, you press a button, it doesn't really get in the way of your screen. You can carry on playing, and it's it's mm. uh, I really like it, and it goes straight I to your phone. It goes straight I to your it phone. A lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking playing this after the screen. I'm like. Take a picture. Take yeah, a picture. Literally. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> how you instantly go to the app. And you haven't got a faff because on PlayStation now they've took away support for Facebook. Yeah. It's a, trying to get a screenshot is a joke. Yeah, yeah. Whereas with this, you just press it, and then a couple of minutes later, it goes to your phone. You can save it to your your phone Camera and roll. send it wherever. Or to, yeah. Like if you put it on Twitter or Facebook or send it to your friends or whatever like that. I think that's really quick and easy. And, and having that like, like, like having. I mean, even with the. I mean, we're moving on. Well, you know what? We'll talk about the actual big, the big boy before we move on to like the UI and stuff. Oh, it's heavy. Um, it's big. <laughs> That's the uh, the it main takeaway. It looks bigger than it is, for because Chris is a very small man. Yeah, yeah. It, does, it is tiny. <laughs> it is big. Like it's not. I don't think it is though. I generally don't think it is. It's. I think it's heavy. Size. I'd say it's heavy. It's definitely heavy. It's proper heavy. It's a fact though, when it came in its box, it's like, oh, it's not too bad. Mm. You open it, you take it out, you're like, oh. Yeah, 99% oh, like, oh. of that box is the console. Like, yeah. the, just the weight anyway. Okay, you haven't I seen like this. The, you haven't seen like the, the box, have you? At the bottom, so he doesn't damage the console. Don't, don't tease us, Chris, with that for the I know, yeah. game. <laughs> so it comes like, this is what the box looks like. I'll move that because you can't see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And uh, they do that 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 tease that was on the back of uh, the game that never oh. was. Um, oh, I've seen how my oh. one. It's got loads of di- it's got all the different games well, on. Looking at them. See, you know on. why? Because yours it, is seen as a it. yours is seen as a Game Pass machine. That's what that is. Um, Stop being rude about my Xbox. No, but that's what they are selling it as. I really like it. You're rude. Open it. You know what? Did anyone else struggle to figure out how to open the goddamn box? <laughs> you know what? I was the one who had my Xbox on day one, so you know. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I regret it every day. With... Oh no. Okay, no, so. No. I don't know. If it's hard to get people to see. It's a bit messy because I just shoved everything back in there. Hang on. So it, 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 it came. No, I just like it, it came like nicely packaged with all this like polystyrene and stuff, and it was wrapped yeah, in this must, really nice. Like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was wholesome. And then there's what I think is really cool. Everything else was in this little compartment. See, I opened I my really box, cool. and there was the Xbox, and I was like. But where's the controller? I didn't realise this was a flap. I was like, oh my yeah, god, yeah. where's my controller? <laughs> That's cool, that is. I like that. It's got like egg box. Yeah. It's got like egg box material inside of it. Mm. You know, when you get like a carton of eggs. <laughs> yeah, do you see what I mean? Like ours was nicely wrapped and everything. So Yours was just... That was like a pop of squishy stuff. It, it mm. is cute. It is cute. I was, like the, the, I was, I was quite happy with the presentation that the, when, when it was open, it was like, it's like a like a like like, like Christmas when you get a present, you're like, ooh, I'm gonna unwrap it now. It's like an Apple product. How Apple products have their mm. stuff like pop like yeah. in their boxes Neat. and like yeah, the, the presentation. No, no really extra nice. fluff. It's yeah, all just yeah, like yeah. ooh. It's like this is the thing. It's like look at me. Mm. All yeah. the attention's drawn to it. So I'm curious now what the PlayStation's going to be like in Arts Box. Because they haven't watched any opening vids. It's going to come in that crate from like Indiana Jones where you have to bust it open. It's, so <laughs> <big>. <laughs> it's coming. Up, that, the lorry is the is the box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking forward to receiving my PlayStation. It's just it's just those memes where people have removed their car seats, like the front. Yeah, I know. Yeah, just to put the PlayStation in there. It is funny. <laughs> like to be fair, like the Xbox Series X is big, but like. It's not it's as big as it's not as it was gonna be. It's not as tall like, as I thought it would be. Like, it's not like a fridge. How we all like? Oh, well, yeah. it's like a fridge. It looks huge. It's like I generally think it's tiny. Like, it's, if anything, it's just it's just thick and packed. It's thick. Like <laughs> I'd like to see yours in person, Kate, just to compare them. Yeah, yeah. Same. I think mine's tiny. It's so very, like... very small. I'm trying to like. Um, what is something that everybody has? Oh, hang on, hang on. Let me yeah. have a phone call. Uh, if you check my Twitter, I did the digestive test for mine. 
Oh, what the f one thing I don't like about the X is this bloody thing. Like, no, it, no, I like that. It stops it from damaging the. It's edges. fine when it's like on its front. It's like, like, on it doesn't the move. Yeah, can't be removed, if you wanted to put it on its side where the little feet are, it just like looks weird on the side. It looks like it's just fell over and it's drunk. Mm. And then if you haven't got the it's space too to funko have it and then the funko a funko pop head. That's how big it is. That's the only universal scale I can think that everyone here would would know. Like mm. Funko, that there's. What well, Funkos are? Okay. It's Leon. It's my best boy, Leon from Resident Evil Four. Uh, my only concern with the X is like, if anyone has kids, this is an issue. Because like, if they've got oh, like oh. pens or crayons or anything, look at that. That fits right in. You know what I mean? If you've That's... got a kid, you can't afford an Xbox Series X, <laughs> especially got, this was. Especially in the state of the world at home, nobody can afford to uh, buy one I've of them got, if you've got uh, kids. I've got a little, br I've got a little British flag hanging out mine. <laughs> the top there. Oh, yeah. I can't show you because I'll remove the camera. You don't want to, yeah, you don't want to put that on when, it, when it's on though. Don't forget to take it yeah, out. I do want to try <laughs> No, no, it, it, it waves. waves. Yeah. It waves while it's on. Oh my god. I got it to work earlier. Yeah, people have been putting ping pong balls on it and, it, and the, like, the, the heat coming out of it kind of like just floats the ping pong ball. That's, I do want to try it cool. myself, get a, like a little Xbox ping pong ball, get one of those make yourself ones and <laughs> just have our float. It's like, oh, she's putting a bit of effort in today, the ping pong balls. <laughs> she made an effort in today. I have to say, though, that the, the, when uh, the setup for the console was super easy with the app. Very, it very was. Easy. Especially with the app support. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was but then that, That's actually carried over now, though, to the older Xboxes. Yeah, you can do it with the older ones now. But like, uh, You see... I awesome. didn't do it with the app because I forgot, oh. and it took me two minutes anyway. Yeah, was it quick anyway? Legit, yeah, it was quick anyway. It literally took me two minutes to do it. I didn't bring across anything from my old Xbox because there was nothing oh. really that I wanted. I tried. There was nothing. I wasn't really oh. in the middle of anything. You, so you I didn't just... want to anyway because it's long-winded. Yeah, 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 and I the Xbox was kind of I dabbled in it. I played some games on it, and then when I finished, I uninstalled them. Mm. Um, so there was oh, nothing yeah. I really wanted to bring across, uh, but even still, like. It's it quicker to download them. Like, do you want your settings from the last one? Yes. How did you How did you guys do it? Did you do it? Did you download each game individually, or did you do that transfer thing? I try. Game? I originally started. I tried doing the transfer, and then I looked at the speed and I was like, "This is taking ages." So then I, I cancelled one of them and tried to download the same game, and it's like the speed difference was ridiculous. Like it, I was, it then, was going to be quicker to download them all. Yeah. It depends on your internet speed at the same time, or yeah, because doing the system transfer. Over wireless, I was topping 70 meg. Mm. If I plugged them both in, I was getting up to 100. Mm. Yeah, but then that consistent, though? It would go from 100 all the way down to things. It would go from like five hours transferring, five hours. It's yeah. like 10. And it's like, what, seriously? I, oh. To be fair, I think when so we... the first day I got it, I didn't get to play it much. When we got them, like, because obviously it was the first few days. Um, I think the servers were just they were fucked because <laughs> like I remember when I'm downloading games, it starts off like a, like a hundred mega megabytes per, uh, per second and it's like really fast, but then it kept just dipping to like five, and then struggling to get back up. And I'm like, I think it was around peak time, so I think I think it must have been the servers were down. But like lately, I've, I've, especially today as well, I've tried downloading quite a few things, and they're super fast. Like compared to the because uh, I remember. Kate got her S before we got any of, any of us got our X's because mm. uh, well <laughs> so for me nice. for me and Sam Amazon <laughs> fucked up and for no. Brian Game I came home from work <laughs> and it was like that meme where the guy comes in with the pizza and the house is on fire everyone was like mine didn't arrive mine didn't arrive and I was and while I'm sitting in the living room and then I was like I feel so bad that mine's coming nobody else's has and then someone was like did you get yours and I was like I should lie and tell them that I didn't because I felt bad <laughs> and Rob was like but yeah, she didn't mine. Because no. I, like, I, I knew, I knew it was going to come up like Kit Kat is playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> well, this is what I was bringing up. Um, obviously, Kate was installing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I thought, oh, I'll install it on my Xbox uh, One X just so I can transfer it when it's uh, when it comes the next day when my Series X come. And that mine took was saying was take, saying it was going to take six hours, and it did take six hours. Kate's took like what was it, an hour? Yeah, an hour and four minutes was its like estimated time, but obviously it gets so far and you yeah. play the game anyway. And that just goes so. to show like 
how much they've improved the download speed on, on the new console. It's crazy. not just that, it's because it's downloaded onto an SSD, yeah, so that can make so the quicker. drive faster. Mm, yeah, so. yeah. And it, it's crazy how like five hours becomes one. Like the, the download speeds are ridiculous now. Even when it was capped, my, my download speed was better than it usually is. And mm. my internet is rubbish where I am yeah. right now. But it still downloads pretty fast. I don't know for you guys, it's pretty slow, but that, that was like... That was like well, that's fast for, for you, yeah. <laughs> it's not for two potatoes to four potatoes. <laughs> I was able to play a game of Warzone earlier about the game just being destroyed. <laughs> I don't know what's done to the internet. Speaking of uh, loading, the load times in... The games now are really stupid it's fast. It's insane. I will have my pizza. Oh, oh, insane. What's happened to Brian? Brian, he's still there. Brian, he's buffering. He's loading. Still here. Right? Still, still, still here. Still here. <laughs> no, you're not. You know what? My crazy. camera disconnecting. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. It's the only game I played on my Xbox, so it's the only point of reference I have. But I was on the map and I was looking at something that was kind of on the other side of the island where I was, and I was like, it's going to be quicker for me to fast travel to the boat. Sail the boat around the island and get off of the boat to collect it than it would be to just walk across. Yeah. Because the fast travel is so... It, it's instant. It's basically non-existent. It's like, what, two seconds? Um, something like that? Crazy. Like, something even... Like a, it's like Forza Horizon 4. Mm. Is it 4? Yeah, it's 4. The one in England. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I, I had the Bash of ISC and I loved the game before, but... It just took so long to load the game up and yeah. to go from point A to point B. Oh, and now terrible. you're like in the game and then it's like, I had to fancy doing that race up here, fast travel up here, you're there and like, boom. Yeah. And it's like, oh, awesome, into the race, boom. Yeah. It's crazy. It it's, is it's, mental. It's crazy. Like the biggest point of reference for me was when we tried Sea of Thieves. Oh, and you know that. how long that game takes to fucking get in. Like it get, take, used to take like a good five, six minutes to get into a game. Took me, took, takes less, like, two minutes at the most to get into a game now. It's crazy. And, like, when you're yeah. fast travelling with the mermaids, like, that used to take ages. Now, it's, like, three seconds. Yeah, you'd be under... Or, what's it like when you die? Because I haven't actually I was gonna tell you It's quicker. It is quicker. It is a lot quicker. It's obviously, it's you, quicker yeah. Obviously, you still go to that, like, the dead ship, and you still got to wait around for the door yeah, to yeah. thing. Because obviously, they've, they've still got spawn times, because otherwise, that would be just OP if you were spawning yeah. straight away. But, like, but that was the worst bit yeah. originally, was you die, and then you'd be like, I, I need to get back to my ship. You wait for the door. So yeah, the, door the in between. So, the time yeah. you actually get back to your yeah. ship, your ship sank. Yeah. All your stuff's been nicked, and yeah. you're like, cheers. But, but pretty much that now, though, we're gonna have an advantage. That's what I was thinking. Maybe, <laughs> unless they've. I mean, I, I reckon. I imagine they've improved it overall. Like, because a lot well, of games. Well, people shouldn't buy PCs anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, but PCs have been doing this for ages. <laughs> to be fair, a lot of no, yeah, uh, high-end PCs they've been loading bad. quick quicker than any of us anyway. So, so you know, it's about time we yeah, get this. <laughs> basically a little PC though, isn't it? The, the, yeah, they the are. They are PCs now. Uh, but like. Yeah, just the load times are crazy. Like, I tried loading. Um, I tried playing some like 360 games earlier, and there's no loading in them any anymore. Like, literally, it's just completely gone. It's crazy. I well, when we uh, I was like when we were playing Burning Tide. Yeah, Burning Tide. I played that game in the past, and it was mm. like it was it was like uh, Sea of Thieves. It takes like forever to even mm. load in or get into a game. It's, it's literally straight away. snappy as anything. It's... No update needed. You're straight in. Yeah. The fast um. Start thing. The quick resume. Quick resume. Quick resume. Quick resume. Quick resume. When it works. <laughs> when it works. Yeah. It is amazing well, yeah, when it works. It works. But like, uh, well, there is an update. They've took a lot of games off it currently because it was uh, the ones that are optimized for X and S. They're having issues. So they've took, uh, and then they've took Watch Dogs off it. They've took Assassin's Creed off it because it hasn't been doing that. Oh, they've taken years. Assassin's Creed off now. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, delete my game. Yeah, the Sam, Sam had an issue with this, and Sam's not happy about this. I Sam. Uh, so I I was doing Valhalla, and I I like seven like seven hours in, just about to leave. Uh, in, Norway, go to Norway. England. Yeah, hmm. Norway. Go to England. I got to England. I thought, okay, that's enough for tonight. Turn the game off. Come back. You've lost five hours. I lost five I hours. I what you're doing. Chat lines. Either did I. Either. I, either. I either. No, I, yeah, I, it's, I, I think to be I fair. To say before I left, it's saved. I do I, think I on instant on, and then it deleted it all. Because I kept getting that data corrupt on my save thing, but even though it wasn't correct when I restarted the game, but like I think quick resume is causing some issues with saves and stuff. 
Yeah, like, he doesn't I, like it. Sam's not the only one I've heard about this happening to. So, like, I think that's why they've took it off it for now, so they can try and fix it and see what see what they can do. But my yeah. my question with Quick Resume is, that it's super fast and all that. It's great, and and jumping between games is like it's literally as fast as anything now. But like, if there's an update for a game, does it update? Does it take it off Quick Resume? Update it, and because like, how's that work? Because obviously, like, I remember on when oh. PS4 when you could go. You can keep that one game, like constantly just going back to straight where it where you where you left it. Well, I'm guessing to, you to update play it, that, that you have not to use online features. Yeah, you have to play it, but not use online features. Yeah, I guess, but, but then it app. wouldn't it wouldn't update if it's on Quick Resume, and you you'd have to check, wouldn't you? Mm. I'd assume it is a bit of a weird. It might just automatically do it, and then you're like, oh, I must have had an update. My Quick Resume's gone. But surely, might, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. So surely that would have to take you out of quick resume to do that obviously because the xbox one kind of had a quick resume feature but it was just for that one game the game yeah. you were playing you would kind of thing and then if there's an update for it you'd load it up if there's an update available yeah load. i guess yeah i suppose it would do the same thing hmm. interesting but like yeah quick resume it's when it when it when it works it is it's beautiful i absolutely love it like just jumping between games because i I'm, I'm playing assassin's creed like we all are um when I get, when I just like, get annoyed at it or something, I just like I was quick jumping over to uh, Tetris Effect, and I was like, "That's that's really good," and that's been optimized for X and S as well. But then uh, like I have a quick one game of Tetris and then just jump straight back in, and it's it's good. Like I wouldn't do that before because that would take several minutes to load up a new game, but like now it's just like quick straight over, do do a one mission, come back in. And I think that's really cool. I never thought I'd see it. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> it is. Like before, I was a bit sceptical about it because I was just like, how many times are you going to be switching through games? But like, mm. it works. And I, I have more motivation to do that now. Like if we want to play Sea of Thieves, I'll jump onto Sea of Thieves and then go straight back to Valhalla and it's when the quick resume works. It, it, straight back to Valhalla without having to load anything up. Great. Obviously for multiplayer games, it's gonna. I imagine it will just take you to the main menu. Well, it would have to, wouldn't it? Because yeah, you, can't, you, you, can't. you can't leave you in Sea of Thieves. No, like, yeah, exactly. We've played Division. Your characters get killed over and over and over and over again. <laughs> but, uh... No, it, then Chris was actually there playing it. Yeah. Oh, oh. Also uh, true, though. Um, oh. But, yeah, um, that's that's probably the, one of the most impressive features. That that and the load times, obviously, are the most impressive features of the console. Um. I, I, it is nice to see having like games run at 60 fps like really smoothly like that's very that is very noticeable especially like in stuff like sea of thieves where it's just smooth as hell and no like nothing chugs or anything it's great and the same with forza when i tried earlier where it's just like no brian oh no brian no brian's back <laughs> brian bloody welsh in. internet <laughs> no, it's just my webcam it's just play. <laughs> it's fine um, but yeah, like Forza runs smooth as anything. Like it's 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 amazing. It feels I've so good. I've only played Valhalla. That's all I've been playing. I've been scrubbing <laughs> it. I have been scrubbing it. It's so good. <laughs> it's very good. These guys are like, yes, I've played this. And I've played this. And I've played this. And I'm like, don't talk to me because I've only played Assassin's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk about the UI now. Um, yeah. So. What's everyone's thought? What's everyone's thoughts on the, the UI? I'm going to start with Brian because obviously Brian's the biggest Xbox fan out of all, all of us. He's been in the ecosystem longer than any of us Sim. at the moment. <laughs> 13 years. Oh. So, Xbox, user interface, it's exactly the same as the Xbox One one. So yeah. you, you'd know where you are. You'd not like, okay, shit, where's this got that thing in the menus? Where's that? Because then when you were playing yesterday, it's like, right. How do you um, adjust the audio for the thing? It's like, is it there or is it in this place? And she's like, oh, yeah, there it is. I so like I like that, that familiarity. <laughs> the only thing I'm not keen on is they could have like jazzed it up a bit, give it yeah. a bit more flair. It's kind of very just that, that, plain. That's my issue with it. Like, because obviously we've been using it on the Xbox Ones for a, a little bit because they've changed it recently to like look better and stuff. But like, it doesn't feel next gen because it's the same and i'm like i don't it doesn't it kind of doesn't feel like you got a new console when you're using the same ui all the time you know what i mean that's that it gives me that weird feel but like obviously i've always had an issue with and i know sam feels the same way the the xbox mm -hmm. dashboard because it's like oh, it's just it. hard to 
I mean, I'm Nothing getting better at it, but there's a lot of things. I've, I mean, I only recently found out how to find. Um, I think it was your like your purchase history like yesterday, and I was just like, like I didn't even know it had. I didn't that. even know it. Yeah, exactly. And I had to tell Sam that because Sam was looking for that, and it was just like there's something. There's a lot. It's a lot of stuff that are just hidden away in w- lots of different menus. That is my. Well, I used to them. find the same with my PS4. Because you're like, oh, oh I love the PS4. And it's like, I can't, easy, couldn't stand the PS4's That's thing. It's like, yeah. you'd call this yeah, and you'd go with it, the and Xbox, then with it. Chris had to spend two days to tell me where the settings were. Yeah, that was a <laughs> fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's an thing. invite. It was what you use. Like, if you spent yeah. the same, t- same amount of time playing on the Xbox One as you did the PlayStation 4, you'd feel yeah. the same about that. I yeah. understand that, I understand that. But the invite system on Xbox yeah. is the worst thing in the universe. Having to hold down the button gets me every time. And when it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. And then it's not. It goes down. It goes down to the bottom to your notifications. Yeah, but, but it, it they only last for a certain amount of time. Yeah, yeah. It's so stupid. They should let. Like, they should laugh. <laughs> they should. They should like just last. So you could join eventually whenever you come on. Like so, you can send invites in advance of the person actually coming online. But they only last for like five minutes before it says this invite isn't valid anymore which is oh, okay. that's my main complaint with the party system mm. I, I, I mean it's kind of a good thing of a bad thing or so you could accidentally invite someone you're like oh yeah fuck. yeah exactly yeah oh, well, yeah there's, there's but that, that's your fault it. not the system's fault at that point but like it's it, that kind of aids the thing then with like oh no because the amount of times you can actually do that because you just go to the name and press x instead mm-hmm. of like going through half a dozen and if you set up a chat, invite all these people to the chat to start the flipping party. I went on the PlayStation app good, two days ago because I was looking to see if um I was looking for some captures or something. Hmm. And it was like, Chris has invited you to a party and I clicked join and it sent everyone party invites and that notification was actually from like over a week ago. Yeah. So, so it's, I don't like, know it's like this party is dead. Like I would I would like it if the invite disappeared as soon as the party was over. Yeah, that'd be a good system. That would make sense. But but I mean, I don't like that it, it disappears way too soon. Overall, as a party system, I do kind of prefer it to PlayStation's new one. But that's because oh, that that's, that's just cool. really confusing yeah. now. But no, like, yeah, no, it was, no, it was. I'm not even going to defend that. It, PlayStation's new one. Yeah, the good thing shit. with the Xbox One is if if you're in the party, it shows people who's in the party. But if you're appearing offline. It doesn't show who they are. They just show up as anonymous. Oh, uh, I've never that, noticed. That did so, PlayStation, so, so Kate can act, does it? Yeah, it did that PlayStation originally. If Kate was appearing offline, it would just say anonymous. It would show you who's in the party, and it would just say anonymous. I never appeared online. I, yeah, I never time I go in the party online. with Chris, and it's just Chris. And I've got too person. many, like, <laughs> you know those random people that you come across in Overwatch, and they send you an invite, and you become friends. And then every single time I was appearing online, I would just get all these messages, like, Kate. question mark. Okay, you're breaking the masquerade. You're breaking the masquerade. I need need to hide hide from all these, like, people. (laughs) I need to hide from all my, like, my friends, my my online, uh, (laughs) like, my online Overwatch friends that we had, like, a couple of sick rounds. We've sort of sent me a friend request. They're 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 other kind of people. Because when they they get the thing, like, comp, I'm like, I can't say no to them because they want to play a comp and then I only end up playing Overwatch. So if I'm trying to play, like, a story game, I'm like, you want to ignore them. Yeah. (laughs) Um... I do, I do like they've added that one dynamic theme that just kind of like it's like these like lines that just kind of like move in the background. I haven't seen them. It's uh because like when they it came up in my thing saying we've added dynamic themes, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll grab it and have a look at what different ones there are. There's one, there's one dynamic theme, and that's it's it. Just different colors, colors like... depending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just different you'll be colors to... depending on your actual color scheme. Yeah, it just changes the color to whatever color. I do scheme. like that you. Cool, I do like that you can change the color scheme. I think that's cool. Like, there's more than one then there's infinite yeah yeah but like there's different colors <laughs> but like i want different styles like, and i'm hoping they kind of do like game centric yeah, ones like playstation do yeah well i think that's the idea in it like, yeah hopefully so they'll move to that ones. but like yeah you have to buy them though obviously well, well hopefully not if you get some of the games or something but i think it's cool having finally having that dynamic theme behind everything but yeah like the ui is just the you it's just what we're used to mostly and it's just that's it month. is it is slightly quicker though it does like oh yeah it's a lot snappier it doesn't stuff because i uh i oh, went yeah. on to my xbox one just to see what the difference was and it's so it chugs and you didn't like when i used to play it i didn't realize how much it chugged compared to like playing it on the on the x net the series x now i'm just like yeah 
I can't go back. And then it's, <laughs> it's like day and night, though, compared to the original Xbox One launch yeah, yeah, interface. That's... Because oh, that was slow, because that, everything was its own app. Yeah. It's like yeah. you wanted to put you up in a party, launch the party app, and then do that. The one thing I do miss, though, is being able to snap stuff. I don't even. I never use that feature. I went around when that feature was there. I wasn't in the eco- oh, ecosystem at that to, point. I used to love snapping stuff to the side of my screen. It's like snap. <laughs> is that the thing where I you can have two? That. You can have the game one. screen and then put like a a, a film a little, on yeah, the side for some. Yeah. Why? Well, why would you do that? But like that's cool, though, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, moving on to the the games, just like what's available game. and what's yeah. yeah, <laughs> uh, <good> game, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I mean, we're all playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah. I mean, we're going to play it anyway, but I think that's generally just because it's the only new new game that's, like, taken advantage of what the Xbox has to offer, like, properly. Like, there is Dirt 5 and all that, and that's for, like, there are people who like those kind of games, but it's just, like, I do feel like... I'd rather play Forza. Yeah, exactly. I do feel like it's, it's slim pickings for new like xbox like next gen games and i think, I think that's more that, that, what's that, happened in the world yeah, though you can't yeah you can't, no, I, no, yeah, the console that, for that. that's yeah. that's fair and like i think it's obviously they were aiming for halo to be there at launch and then yes that would have been big but obviously other than covid that's had other issues in itself and it's well we don't even know when that's coming out now but uh you can it, it is missed you can tell that like that's what they were like. They they, had, they they put all their like their bets on that, and then obviously when that got delayed, it's just like what what's what's there? What's left? Yeah, I wasn't it's even going to play Valhalla mm. um, at launch because I was, Cyberpunk. I was yeah, like I was so hyped for Cyberpunk. I was going to wait because I thought I'll get so far into Valhalla, oh. I'm obsessed with Cyberpunk, and I'm not going to go back to Valhalla. But I'm enjoying it so much. Mm. And I don't like the controls. The controls are the one issue about that game for me. I, I just there's just certain things that really annoy me about the control system. Is it having the stuff to do, like the attacks and stuff on the triggers? Uh, th- that sort of thing I can get used to. But my issue is with it, like especially when you're trying to catch the tattoo designs. So oh, God. you'll press the button to jump, and you click in the stick to run. To and That's then all a of a sudden degree, you'll though. you'll get to a place and you'll press A to jump, and she just kind of like climbs a tree. It, it grabs her yeah. hold of the tree. <laughs> yes, like, that, that's Assassin's Creed. How, that's just Assassin's Creed. Know, that's always happened. It annoys me so bad because I'm like, it, it's literally not me. Like I cannot do this any yeah. other different way. It, this is the game, and it's really frustrating. Ugh. The first day I was playing it, I was hating the controls. I was considering kind of yeeting it off because I couldn't stand the controls but I got into like the open world and I started doing all the collectibles and stuff and I'm really enjoying it it's mm. a lot more succinct than Odyssey Odyssey, yeah. had it, Odyssey was going on. bloated it, it punishes even, button mashing it really it wasn't does like, even when that it had too much going on it was like Here's the the same, mission. like the, the same like seven objectives again and again and again and again in each different place whereas this one there's loads of new things to do you go yeah. somewhere, you meet someone, it's an individual story. It's not yeah. and, thing. And you don't and know what a little... Script. And their little story and their little mission, it is in their vicinity instead of seeing this guy. And he's yeah. like, oh, yeah, I need, I've lost my chickens. Can you go get my chicken? And you go gallivanting yeah. halfway across the map to get Speaking space. about that, though, yeah. speaking about that, the game, the game biggest flaw for me so far is the lack of direction for the yeah. mini quests. No, yeah, like, It doesn't even no. appear... It doesn't even appear in your quest log or anything like no, that. No, no. Yeah, the, it's those world events that are the worst for that for me, where it's like, if you, like, I don't know, say you get a text and you look at your phone while they're talking, if you don't listen to them, you have no idea what you're doing. No, yeah. And they no, do not, no like, repeat what they're saying. Yeah, so it's just like, huh, just, I guess I'll just follow them, you. <laughs> a lot of them are buggy as well, because I was doing mm. this one where I had to follow this blind dude around and I had to light some beacons and I did it. And then the next one is across the river and kill these dudes. But the, it's a bandit camp, and I've already I've already You've destroyed already bandit camp before I got him. So now I I can't do the mission. Mm. So I had to re- I had to go back an hour just to do it all because mm. there was no way of doing That's it. The only one that I have seen a glitch in of the, of the world events is one of the very first world events where you go to the first town and there's a guy and he's like, oh, were you? 
to help me choose like a second in command for my crew and you go yeah and he starts walking off towards the beach and I followed him and I got to where we were supposed to start fighting and he said something to me and then there was no option to kind of start yeah. the fight. See, I had, a, yeah. I had a similar issue with the exact same mission, but I think it's my, mainly my fault because I didn't. I assumed it would just come in my quest log like, like all the other Assassin's Creed games. So or it would track him and yeah. he'd have a thing above his head yeah. and he just walked off. And just so like, I, I, like, gone? I looked at my phone, but I didn't pause the game or something. I was just... This is the problem now with all these fast load times. I don't get time to look at my phone. <laughs> so I, looked, I, looked, I looked at my phone or whatever, and then he must have just walked off. I had no idea where he would gone. Like, there's no marker to tell me where he'd gone because the, the the quest marker was still where I found you him. Start the quest. And I was just like, mm. huh? <laughs> what am I doing? So I just, like, I wandered around. So and you went around and then waiting for some conversation to kick in. Yeah, I was like, yeah. oh, I'm in the right vicinity. Where is he? But what, what I did look for like? I went away and then I come back and he'd reset to the same yeah, place. Yeah, that, that's what that's what I had to do because I, I couldn't find him at all. I, I messaged uh, Alexis and I was like, bro, what am I doing? Because like it just disappeared. I feel like it's glitched. And then I just I went off and did something else, come back and I was like, oh, he's back there again. And he's giving me the mission again. I'm I'm like 22 hours in. I'm 22 Jesus. hours, 22 Jesus. minutes in. And I have just 14. scummed 16. the... I, I've done some of the story and I am enjoying the story, but I'm just, I get to a place and then I like clean the map. But I noticed yesterday I was I went to this place and I, I killed a load of dudes, blah blah blah. Went into the map and I was in a place that was like 126 power level, but I literally I killed everyone in there with no like no, no problem. So you know, I think we need to start being a bit because I was like I won't go over there, I won't clear that bit of the map because it's too too high of a power level for me, and I've been in this place for like an hour murdering every single person that come near me so I could collect all his gold and yeah it wasn't hard so when she <laughs> get into the rhythm of the level. fighting <laughs> yeah when she get into the rhythm of the fighting with the counter in and the yeah uh, block and it's like you block you stand yeah. up but you hit you again you block stand up no one in blocks no one blocks I'm kill. yeah you block and then it just gives <laughs> straight away it, it takes down their their um What's the meter called? Stamina, isn't it? Stamina, Stamina meter. meter. Yeah, and then and then literally that that you just press like it's like one oh, button and it just literally yeah, right down it. and it literally just kills them in one Ends go. And, and I love that. I, I I never get to that point because I I've killed them before their stamina from <laughs> like, the bow. The bow is so powerful. I, love uh, the bow. I hate using the bow though. Because I feel like a Viking Wait, wouldn't you, use a bow. Which bow are you using, though? Because there's several different bow. types. I don't know. Oh, it's got one that you get from the chest where when you aim it, it zooms, zooms right in. in. And yeah. you haven't got to pull the string back. You can just press it and it just shoots. Oh. Is that the I quick bow? The, no, is. that's the light. The light bow is the one where it rapid fires. Yeah, I've got the, that uh, one, I think. It's the penetrate bow? That yeah. sounds weird. Because you've got... The, each one's to like a different style. You've got the raven yeah. sets, the bear sets, and the wolf sets. It's like the bow I'm using is the bear bow. Mm. Yeah, but, and, but like there's there's three different types of bow, but you've yeah. got you've got a, you've got you've got a bow for each of those sets. Yeah. I found a light bow for the wolf, the, the raven, and the thingy. Mm. Are they different? The bear. Are they that different? Though? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they yeah okay. They're different not, kind no, of things. Not... It's like the weapons are like specific to each. I like that. As well. I like yeah. how there's only a certain amount of weapons and you not, don't just find the same things over and over again. Yeah, I think yeah. that's a very, very good choice. Each weapon is unique and then you yeah. upgrade that weapon and you're like, oh, I love this weapon. So you just stick with our weapon. That's what I was going to ask. Like, how often have you changed weapons and gear? Because, like, literally, I've just upgraded my starting gear and I just don't need... Nothing I get seems to be higher than that. So I'm like, do I need any of this? I've found a lot of armor because... I've been, oh. I've been saying, I've been, I've been cleaning the map, so I've got a lot of different armor. I found an assassin's bureau, so I've got like assassin's gloves. I'm assuming there's going to be a bureau for every different part of the yeah. armor. Yeah, there's, six, there's the eight of them. Gonna have, six of them. Yeah, there's six of them. Um, I started off with, obviously, like you start with the axe and the shield. Then That's I changed to a two-handed axe. Then I had an axe and a flail, and now I've gone back to the axe and and I find a big, big shield. Mm. So I'm using the axe and the shield again. So yeah, I'm using axe and shield as well. I've, I've got a flail and a shield. I've been using yeah. two daggers, and they're very good for boss fights because mm. you do a lot of damage to a single opponent. Problem is, you need to be careful because they can get you stuck still in emotion. Block with that. With the no, you can, but it's not as good. It's not. You have to tie it better, I think. 
Yeah. It only counts as one, one because you yeah. use one weapon to block. But yeah, I've been, I've been using that a lot, but mostly two axes because the damage up. But yeah, I, I'm thinking of moving to two axes, but I'm like, I've got so used to the shield now where I'm just like, especially when you got archers shooting you, it's just easy to block. Yeah. But, uh, well, I, I've, I've, I've received, I finally found two like big swords now. Yeah, I was I hoping you can get swords. I, I want some swords. <laughs> you can only get great swords. You can't get normal swords. Oh. So I can found, I have a shield I found, and a sword. Found... So I can't have a shield and a sword. No, Don't no. Like that. And, I found and a bear sword and I found get... a raven sword. When you get the skill or to hold, be able to hold two heavy items, then you can have the long oh, okay, sword good. and a shield. That's good. Can That's you? I can you? I, I think don't, so. I don't yeah, think you can. Because you can have two but... shields as well. What I do? You can oh, have two no. shields. Yeah, you can run two shields. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna try that. Don't I have to try that. To be fair, go into the shield you, tray. You can get a heavy. You can get a heavy shield. So I guess yeah. that makes sense. That's. I think that's the one I've got. It's really long. Yeah. I oh, know that's the kite of being shield. Round, it's like a. No, that's the kite shield. That's a medium. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. the one I've got. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. The heavy one. The heavy one is just the big circle one. Mm. Can't yeah. remember where you get it from. Um, so all I've been doing is scumming for weapons. That skill tree is massive. When you've got. When you've got what I did, right? When I was started playing it, I put everything into the bear mm. to the That's point where I was, I'd pretty much like cleared out the bear. What I did was, I, re I, I removed all my skill points and I put them into the other trees so I could see the entirety of the skill tree. So then I knew what I was trying to work towards. Yeah. So, okay, I did that and it stayed. I went offline yesterday and I've came back on today and it's all, it's all clouded again. No, it, your game's broken. <laughs> I did I, I I cleaned them all off. So and then I I looked for like the points that I was aiming for. So like I've got like the higher level assassination. I've got mm. uh, no well, not no fall damage, but take less fall damage. Is it the so wrong one? See what was going on. Mm. Another pro tip, like... if you're underwater and you're trying to find something, you can't see it, go into photo mode, then you won't drag <laughs> yeah, it. No, it. That's so <laughs> jammy. <laughs> If you're after a lot of weapons, uh, you know, you know, I think it's Tavern Rivered. Rivered? It's, no, it's, okay. where you, it's where your brother goes after, like, some, some sometime early yeah, yeah, yeah. after you've built, yeah. like, the foundry. Uh, if you go to the shop there, because shops actually sell weapons as well. Yeah. I've got so yeah. much money. I've, been, I've just been, like, getting every single piece of money, like, I can find on the map. So I've got so much money to spend when I finally find... Yeah, it's like a horse. That's fully up by your horse. Hmm. Yeah. Like, that's how I got two daggers because I bought it from a shop. Overall, like, I'm, I'm really, I feel like I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. I think it's, I'm going to get proper into it. Um, I've only played 16 hours so far, but like, I've been trying to Easily. test other. <laughs> I, I know, yeah, but like I've been trying to test other stuff because it's like, obviously, yeah. with doing this, I wanted to get kind of like I didn't just want to play one game and not be able to talk about anything else, but like, I, I yeah, am really, when you were messaging me, you not shaming you, though, like, Kate. It's oh. like, the classic Battlefront 2 is like, oh, this big back memories. I've never seen it look so good. It's like, yeah, it did look really good. Like, especially, it did, it did oh, that's another thing I want to. That's another thing I want to talk about. The uh, when you play older games that don't necessarily have HDR, a lot of them have because it's a new feature on on the X on the Xbox Series X and S. It's called Auto HDR. So it basically simulates oh, yeah. HDR and allows your TV to be in HDR for it. And it makes games like, especially older games like Battlefront Two, original Battlefront Two, look so much better. Uh, Fusion Frenzy, I tried that as well as Split Second, the racing game, and like they all look oh my and god, run I love that game. so so much better. And and the HDR makes like a massive difference, even on Xbox One like, games that don't have it. It's crazy. Speaking of like doing the stuff like that, I've been I've been downloading loads and loads of games. Uh, so I've been downloading games that won't get the next gen upgrade. Like, mm -hmm. I download Warzone. And you know that is that. Oh, Have you got any hard like, drive left? You can. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's what I'm on about. The the size of games, like, was it? It's the difference between uh, thirty gigabytes for Sea of Thieves on yeah, like that's crazy. Console, guys. And then right. like yeah. like case of seventeen, ours is like forty seven. Forty six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Forty six. Ridiculous. But, but uh, like, I mean, that's why yeah, the like, S has the smallest hard drive, I guess. <laughs> what what is that new feature where it's like you can download it separately? Oh, you can like delete features now of the game. So, yeah, like, say you finish, say you, I don't know, buy the new Call of Duty, and you you finish the campaign, um, you can delete that campaign and keep the multiplayer. I think that's really that's cool because obviously that, that, that's, that's going to be an issue. Yeah, yeah. The I think it is. Yeah, but a lot of games but, seem to be doing it, and it's going to obviously the the game, all the Game Pass games, I think, have it mainly. Yeah. 
Well done, now. It, it's it's still a little bit. Uh... It's still a little bit broken though, because the uh, war zone is 100 gigs, and it just upgraded it a little bit with 30 gigs again. Yeah, because it was an update, but there was like a they they added something to it, which is. Slightly... I can't. I'm not downloading that on my Xbox because I don't have space. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I, I've deleted it again. I just wanted to see what it looked like, and it did look. Did a lot it better. did it run better? Like it runs so much better. I because that game just destroys my consoles because my internet, but I had no problem with it absolutely. Mm. My to be fair, I to try it. Xbox and PlayStation was to keep my Xbox for all my single player games. Mm. And use the PlayStation for all our like, mortal players. That's what so, we're doing for I, PS5. But I don't, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if you, are we gonna? We might multiplayer it on Xbox now. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna go. If we all go <laughs> to play multiplayer on Xbox, I'm not being friends with any of you. Because then the next game was coming, I was like, can we all move to Xbox? Because they're the better. Like, they're the better <laughs> company. They they value their customers. We get Game Pass. We get this. We get that. And you was all like, yeah, but PlayStation Five though. And then I didn't even want one, and I bought a PlayStation Four because you, you guys wouldn't move on. You bought you one. You guys first. would not let go. Yeah, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, Brian's right. You bought it first. That's your own fault. I'm not going to be happy. That's your own fault. That's your own fault. You jumped into it. Um, <laughs> she panicked. Bought a game. A one game. Multiplayer game. I definitely will go back to my PlayStation Five for. Is when Avengers is good. Yeah, yeah. yeah hopefully, Avengers good, right. is good. It'll never be good. It'll never be good. It we'll see. We'll, see. we'll see. We'll see. Well, apparently, Anthem two. Electric Boogaloo. Apparently, Volv, um, from reports and stuff of people just playing the standard PS4 version on their PS5, it yeah. runs so much smoother. Yeah, I've so, heard people say it's like I've a different got, game. I've got some faith in it. We'll I've got see. some faith. So by we'll the time see. that comes out, they should have some new characters, some new gameplay, and we can be like, I'll definitely give I, it a go. I'll jump, I'll jump back in it again because like that's one of those games like before next gen. I'm like, this is clearly a game that's that's made for next gen but like struggles on current gen like really yeah. badly and i'm it like never, that's... it never looked bad it was no just... but it just chugged a lot you know like you know when there's too many things <laughs> on the screen the it was just like chug yeah, yeah exactly like stuff like that it's just like it ran really badly and if that runs smooth on on playstation or oh, like for people who play it on xbox like that that's it makes it a completely different game Really, because like the loading times on that game were ridiculous as well, and like oh, all these things really will work. be changed and they'll be quick, and it's just like when we we get stuck in an like awkward, awkward elevator ride, yeah, in the Quinjet, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for eternity. Like we actually had to travel like, like forty hours just to get. There. So I mean, that's affecting one level oh, of being but... with your companions. Well, one more, oh, one yeah. more. Could be a good one to talking. try. Back was compatible. I cannot yeah, wait for the Mass Effect. Well, collection. I'm waiting for the collection now, but still. <laughs> yeah, but I'd, I'd like yeah. to try Mass Effect One, the backwards compatible version. Just see how long a lift journey takes. Uh, now. Uh, yeah, yeah I wonder if they change them. I bet they're better. You know what? You know what? Even if it like, even if it was super super quick, it couldn't be because you have like important conversations, conversations in the lift. Yeah. To yeah, Italian guys. Just imagine, or you just as Ashley's about to get flipping racist, you get out the lift. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, Ashley. Let's take it back to Xbox. What did everyone name the Xbox? Oh, I uh, met name mine Chunky Boy. <laughs> I called mine my little boy. <laughs> that I, was B O R B O R. I named my uh, X Boy. X Boy. <laughs> I removed the I removed the uh, Y's, put an I on the end. <laughs> did, did you name yours, Brian? Yeah, she's thick girl. Thick girl. <laughs> you named a thick girl. Oh, I love it. Like, thick. Yeah. thick. <laughs> <laughs> one one thing I actually did ch- try out and I wanted to just bring up uh, Watch Dogs uh, Legion runs a hell of a lot better on the current no, console, on know. this on this next gen console. And how's the mix thinking though? It's fine. It's fine now. I think as far as I, I I never really had that much trouble with it in the uh, on last gen. But what about the, it's um, great now. the random generation of uh, NPCs where I got India um a old no. An Indian what? woman who sounds like an old white woman. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, that's yeah. not going to be fixed by next gen. That's just Ubisoft oh, jank, isn't it? But uh, yeah, that is. I think they're fixing some of those bugs just generally. Um, but the thing I wanted to bring up about it was the, the ray tracing. And the ray, uh, it's very uh, good. It's very good. Oh, here we go. Chris and his ray tracing. Yeah, but that, it's a feature of the next gen consoles, and it is very good. Ray tracing. Can you explain what right. the ray tracing is for us who haven't heard it before? Uh, Basically, it's, it's realistic light and reflections. So, like, I, I was driving um, in that game. In Forza? Oh. No, driving in, in, in Watch Dogs, and it's raining. So you can kind of see, like, the reflections off the ground, and it's, it is really good. I do think sometimes it's a bit overkill. 
because I was going down this road where it was like proper pissing it down with rain and it's like you can see everything is reflected like and it's so distracting in a way can you uh can you turn it down it's like a level no so unfortunately not it's just on there uh, um it's it's really good in puddles like you can see the reflection from the puddles about to say, when you don't yeah, have to say when they bring that water out they're only going to get them puddles they're yeah, puddles puddle gate. <laughs> Um, but uh, how's like, driving in? Oh, the it's, you know, you know how like, when you drove in on, on last gen and it was like screen tearing all the time and everything was, yeah. it was really bad. It, like when you got fast yeah. and stuff. Like a mo- a moped felt like a truck and a truck yeah. felt like a moped. Like that. Um, the screen tearing's gone. It's it runs smooth with anything oh, now, good. and it and it, it does allow you to drive better than when it was just mm. chugging a lot on the last gen. Um, but like, but it was awful. The, the reflections after like the neon signs and stuff is just really good it's, it, it does make it look Mate. like a much better game graphically like it, the Ray facial animations are still a bit janky like that's that's just typical Ray tracing of cyberpunk right? is gonna be off the yeah we're not we're never gonna get that game it doesn't exist <laughs> no, we're going to be living it. Fantasy that we all have. We're going to be living it. That they love us so much, they're going to let us experience it in, in real life. Twenty seventy-seven. <laughs> I want the uh, lotus blade thing. The, the mantle blades that comes out of my my arms. Me and yeah, that fit cool. woman that was in the uh, in the original trailer. trailer. Yeah. Who actually? Oh, well, you the get game. a statue of. Yeah. But um, other than that, like, it's mostly just been like obviously Assassin's Creed and old xbox one games that i've been playing and it's just like there's, there needs to be like i was i was very gutted when i found out that the the medium obviously got delayed because that really that's the big that. next gen like mm. showcase game that they've got exclusive to xbox and it's like january medium. january 10th now they moved they were originally december something the fourth or something no december the 10th because that was the same day as cyberpunk moved to and they moved because of Cyberpunk. Apparently. Yeah, I don't blame them. Which I don't blame, I don't blame them. Blame like Cyberpunk, you would. Cyberpunk ruins everyone's day. Yeah, literally. How many times has people move their games for Cyberpunk, <clears throat> and um, then it gets delayed? <laughs> yeah, it's causing. But it's actually causing people loads and loads of money. Mm. But um, to actually think about it, I think obviously that the medium will be the biggest, like the the, the next gen game for the Xbox, and then and it'd be interesting to what see. Is, yeah, it's due the twenty eighth of January. Okay. What is the medium? It's a horror game. What's your... To where it's oh, like, no, no, it's, okay. it's, 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 yeah, it's the one that simulates two know, worlds at the same time. time. Made by some of the people that made Silent Hill, that makes sense. Because when she like cut oh, the okay, wall good. open, good. it was it had like that was a prominent feature in the one on Xbox 360. Yeah, oh, I can't remember which one it was. That, it that, that, yes, yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, it, was. It, was, it wasn't. It wasn't a good one. It wasn't no. a good one. But <laughs> that one. And I was yeah. like, oh my god, this is the next gen Silent Hill that we've all been promised, and then it, it, it wasn't. But that that'll be the ne- no. that'll be the big test of the next gen capabilities of the Xbox, I think, because it's yeah. rendering two worlds at the same time. Yeah, but we just got to wait for January, and I think I, I mean this year is one of those years where it's like because of what ha- what's happened this year with with COVID and all that, like a lot of games have been delayed, and like I'm surprised they didn't delay the consoles, to be honest. But I'm okay, they- some games have been delayed though because loads of people they've lost jobs and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And yeah. it's like another knife to them if all these games are coming out. And yeah, they yeah. Like board. yeah. Like I'm not, I don't really mind it. Like I'm kind of weirdly glad that Cyberpunk got delayed, so it gives me a chance to get proper into Valhalla before just no, no, that you know that's human. Yeah. <laughs> but like I don't know, it's just one of them where it's like in in an eye you'd like to like see through the looking glass and see see if if covid hadn't happened how different this year would be in terms of what we would have to play on the console at launch like uh, you can imagine we'd have a lot a lot more it's it strange be like we might then or some of us might have only been able to afford then one console wow. because you would have that one console with so many games for it because mm. you would it, have had, anyway, it's, it's very strange in game pass but it's very yeah. strange because we've got all this time to play this game. Yeah, I'm just looking for that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a double-edged sword at this point. But that's that's why I kind of feel sorry, like kind of feel sorry for Xbox because obviously their all their big games got delayed because of COVID and stuff like that. It's like so they've got nothing really of their own or exclusive at launch, which is a shame for them. But but then shouldn't have put all the eggs in one basket, should no, they? Well, no, that's yeah. true. Yeah. But then, you know, who can predict this show, really? <laughs> no, no, but, you know, it, 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 even taking away all that, like, 
delays in games happen, problems yeah. happen. You know, it's not just outside effects. It's what can happen inside the studios. But the one so thing it was a very, very you know, risky move to put everything on Halo. It, I think it has affected Sony as well. Though, oh, yeah, definitely. The similar kind of way. Because they've, well, before, a um, couple of months ago, they was all thought, yeah, we, own, we believe in generations. This is going to be the focus, basically. Mm. And then it was like, see, so you see Spider-Man's coming out and it's only on eye. And then they kind of backtrack then because they're thinking... We can't just yeah. support that yeah. anymore because there's more money in, in, in selling it yeah. to PS4 in it because more people are there. Makes sense. Mm. Like it makes business sense, and they've got to. They've all got to. They've both made that same decision with all their uh, exclusives for at least a year or two, I think. So it's like I think they've been quite good to us this year, but yeah. Be, I mean, I'm I'm just happy to get the console. And, and yeah, um, same. Yeah, I just can't believe we're in it. Like. We're halfway in it. We've got a PlayStation to come out yet. Yeah, well, no, it's, it's out in America. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. People are halfway. That's yeah. UK people yeah. are halfway. It sucks yeah. for yeah. them. Over the line. If you're the Americans We've got are one in the foot future. in the past and one foot in the future. <laughs> oh, no. Um, But, like, it, it just makes... it. Make, it you know what the, this, this whole next gen is about? It's just convenience. Just the faster yeah. loading, the, mm. the quick resume. It's just all convenient stuff. It's not like a massive graphical upgrade or anything like that, which is fine. It's, I think it, that's going to be impossible. In that, from uh, yeah. the way I'm looking forward to seeing what the new end they do start doing with the new Unreal Engine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, we, we, like, that. But the thing is, like, if you you look back to the start of the PS4 and the Xbox One, those games didn't really look that different to like 360 and PS3. Yeah. But like, oh, they did. Because it's like you had Rise of the Foam. It's like fidelity of the games. Like, yeah. ooh. But then looking back, and it's like, really, that yeah. was top notch. And then yeah. as the it, generation went on, because you had that at the beginning, then towards the end you had Red but, Dead. Uh, yeah, and it was like, and Last of Us Two looked, which looked is still it's, to me the best looking game I've ever played. <laughs> so it's, it's like only it's only during the last life of PS4 where we got truly beautiful games. Like, yeah, because remember what Witcher? Witcher was not a beautiful game. <laughs> But it was like, for its time, it, but yeah. It, it, for, yeah, but like, but like... But then looking back at it, it is... But then... It really isn't, like... We get in the gift of a lifetime without. We get in the free upgrade for those who previously yeah. had us. Oh, like, yeah. We're not like, oh, come on, we want more of your money. I think I think with this with this next-gen console... It, well, it's not next-gen, it's current-gen now. With, I keep calling it next-gen. But like with these... Halfway-gen. Yeah, with these with these consoles, it's, it's more convenience and... Fast stuff, fast loading, stuff like that. That's that's the big standout at the moment, at least until we get like it's later into you in the game instead of yeah, what? yeah, spending the time waiting for the game to load or just waiting for the server downloads. The, the and stuff. backwards thing about all that though is yeah, games are bigger and you've got a smaller hard drive, so it's like delete, <laughs> download. Ugh. Yeah, we, we are in a magical place though because like I'm playing these games and I'm like. Because they used to just play games and not like not really notice it, but now I'm like I'm actually looking at everything because it all looks so good. Yeah, but like, I'm taking it in. I haven't taken the graphics for granted yet, so it's, it's yeah. a really nice place to be in. Mm. Like just Cyberpunk is going to blow our minds like, if it lives up to the I hope it does. I, it does live up. I really hope it does. I was heartbroken when it got delayed again. I, I thought Chris called me and he's like, Cyberpunk's been delayed. I was like, you, this better be a meme. Like this has got to be a meme. It's not ever going to me. It's not my fault. <laughs> Just no, passing no, the news like, on. Like, Chris, are you winding me up? Are you actually winding me up? Because if you are, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Very passionate. But yeah, I like, I, I mean, I my overall verdict is so far, it's, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It doesn't feel that different in terms of, like, you still you still know you're playing at, like an Xbox console and it doesn't really feel that different, in, but the games run a lot better and in yeah. and, and the quicker loading, that's the biggest thing. But... Mm. It's more like you've just redecorated your house instead of renovated your house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that quote, Brian. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't feel like a that much of a change. Just feels fresh. Feels, do yeah. you think the PlayStation will? Do you think the PlayStation? I, do, will I actually gen I genuinely do because of the whole dual sense haptic feedback stuff. I think that's yeah. going to be a big difference. Um, it's going to be beautiful in a different way. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's it's, it's going to be interesting because like obviously I like the Xbox controller and I like how it's. It's simple and it and it and it works for me. Yeah. I prefer that controller, um, and I don't think they really need to change much because at the end of the day, what what's not broke don't you don't need to fix at the end of the day. But like the the dual sense, from what I'm hearing, is is that's the next the gen, the, the big next gen thing at the moment with the PlayStation. Obviously, the PlayStation can do all the fast loading and all that anyway. 
but like that's the thing that's making the difference with people and that's the thing that's wowing people so i'm interested to see how different it feels i'm, I'm intrigued yeah. by it um, the thing is, though, with Xbox, they've also got that whole f- skew towards people with physical disadvantages. They've yeah. got those adaptable controllers. That's well, cool. how would they go about doing something like that on PlayStation now? Well, they haven't, have they? With what's in the dual sense, so how would it's kind of like that kind of like consumer friendly mm. for everyone? Yeah. And then it's kind of like a barrier now for those. Yeah, the way I see yeah. it, like you got Xbox for the consumer friendly, like family friendly, kind of like making sure everyone can play and then you got the playstation which feel like they're more themselves at least feel like they're more high-end you know what i mean playstation yeah, want every bit of your money they can physically get let's be real yeah kate's not so, a fan of playstation no i'm not i don't like i don't like how they run i don't like i, I don't i don't like them as a company and they do seem they a bit cocky everything on their exclusives so, you're not a true gamer <laughs> i mean I mean, I'm, I, 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 I'm not gonna lie. I, he's not giving us money. I, <laughs> me and Brian are there, like Xbox. Like they've got Game Pass. They do all this good stuff for you. They I care agree. about their gamers. And Chris, okay, and Howard, you can't so much. So Brian, how much did they Lactibus pay you? And what was your price? price? <laughs> the game of the free price Xbox price hat. Just so full. <laughs> to be fair, like no, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll always sit there and say like. Xbox do a lot of good things like the game Game Pass. I, I, you know, I'm like the biggest fan of Game Pass. Like you all, yeah, you, all true. you guys know this, and I, I'll, I'll like, yeah, I'll live that thing forever. But like, I do. I, the one thing that PlayStation has its hooks on me for is the exclusives. I'm not a fan of how they run a lot of their things, or how they seem like they're a bit cocky about everything. They are, and extremely. that's. I mean, I mean, they have reason to be, if you think about it, because they they did win big last gen i mean whether that's going to carry on we'll see i will but say that xbox has come out they will saying be forced to change yeah no i think they will because xbox is doing all this stuff yeah, and i think will. that's that's good it's like, do you think playstation would actually stamp up like because we would have to have a new playstation vr oh the dog's up now <laughs> new playstation vr for the um, ps5 because but the locks are there the ps4 version it's just only compatible via backwards compatibility. Yeah, that's a whole shit an actual is. native thing. So but that's another. I, oh, yeah, we want your money. We want you to buy another thing. Do you yeah, think people would be like, be yeah, fair, I would buy another one of those things? Or would they be like, no, if you basically like fob this off after three or four years? I, I agree with you. But if that is down to graphics, that like you need a new one for it to look perfect. Yeah, because I agree with that. Let, let's not lie. The PSVR currently isn't the best graphic wise. Graphic wise. Like it whatever was, it was no, horrible. Like it's I've the worst the, one. I got the PC one, but like, like the high end PC one, and it's just it was good enough down. for its time. And I think we are due an upgrade. And I would buy another upgrade. I actually would. Um, but I mean, just generally, PlayStation. Well, I think they will. Like Sam says, I think they will change with the times. They're going to have to do something with PlayStation yeah, now have eventually. Or oh, they're dead because Game Pass is that bigger thing, and especially with the great the game streaming and like the X Cloud and all that stuff they're doing. That's the the future of gaming, without a doubt. I mean, it's yeah. just it's just a matter of internet providers catching up, basically. Yeah, the world needs to yeah. catch up with it first. So, like, PlayStation need to do something with PlayStation now to do that. Like, they need they need to get if, something going, and then I think they will. But if like, they d- if they don't if they don't change, then they're going to get overtaken by another yeah. company, Google yeah. or Amazon. Or yeah. in. No, or Google tried that. Google tried that with Stadia, yeah, but, yeah, but Google are very very tenacious they'll, they'll keep trying they'll keep trying until <laughs> they the full free stadium on yeah like, that's true you, they are you will buy they you will buy the google glass point too <laughs> i want i'm like yeah one. i'll take the stadium the stadium on because i want that i want that chromecast lads i'll have that to be <laughs> fair to be fair kate we can't talk because now we all own the stadium <laughs> no, yeah but, yeah, but they sent it me for free it's in the plastic. i'm like yeah i'll have that we got it for free they gave a 90 quid controller away for free. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Why don't you up in our grill? <laughs> oh, <laughs> there it is. It's not out of the box yet. No, mine's, I didn't even open mine. Mine's, hold, mine's holding up my kitchen door. <laughs> I mean, holding it I think I give. I, it's because oh, it's against it's the wall and it keeps falling over. I give so little shit about it. It's literally holding my furniture up. Yeah, uh, giving it away as a Christmas present because I don't want. They basically are. 
They gave us a Google Home last year, yeah. and now they give us the Stadia. I'm already. not complaining. Um, I love my Google Home. I use it all every day. But um, that's that's a uh, Xbox and PlayStation. I think PlayStation obviously they will catch. They will start after having to catch up at some point. Um, <laughs> The yeah. dogs are trying to interrupt Brian's communication. <laughs> Brian, show us the dog. No, I'm not showing you the dog. Because you have to move all Brian, his webcam and stuff. Um, Brian, don't let your dog make a phone call. <laughs> but overall, I- I'm happy with the Xbox. Um, I'm glad I bought it. I- I- I'm not disappointed at all, I had really. Some, I had some serious like doubts when I was getting him. Because like, I was PlayStation full on last gen. I didn't have an Xbox. The only reason I got an Xbox was to play with you guys, yeah. and then that didn't work out, and then I got PC. But I was, I was like, oh my god, I've got, I've got no games for it. Yeah. And then the Game Pass. Game Pass makes makes really the thing. biggest difference with that because it's like there, there you are. There's your library of games. You don't even need to buy a game necessarily because you got my all last the game gen Xbox ones. was just my 360 machine. Like all them old games that yeah. I really wanted to play again. That's all I used it for. And Kate, your new one still but, technically can be because <laughs> it's all backwards yeah, compatibility. Yeah, Last gen, I would never have dreamed of getting Xbox uh, Valhalla on Xbox. I would have got it on PlayStation, mm. but I wanna, I wanna make this new Xbox gen. I want this to be my single player machine. That's my plan. I had, I had Game Pass for six months before this came out, and I played a one game, and that was Sea of Thieves. I did not bother with anything else. And oh, now you don't I'm need anything else games. with that game. You don't need <laughs> anything else yeah. with that game. But now, but now I'm downloading more games than I can actually play. Like I'm playing mm. different things all yeah. the time. Yeah, I, is I that also because we've got a bigger hard drive? drive? Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> Chris, Chris, is now, Chris is now a Christian mission. He's like a... It is a good priest, game, so pretty. Game pass. So Chris is. I am, yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's a good game. Yes, if you're listening, Phil Spencer, uh, check, us a, uh, check, us a, check us a message. We, we'll accept the code. Promote it. <laughs> right, yeah, is everyone's happy with the, the Xbox? Definitely. I think the only drawback is, is, is the lack of games. I literally think that's the only drawback for it, really. You only need Valhalla. Just put At the all moment, your time yes, into Valhalla. I, I am. <laughs> um, I think uh, it's Pulling Power, though. It's going to be with the, some of the multi-platform games. They're going to look and run better than the Series X. So it's going to be like drag them to them. So it's not going to just be a case of exclusives because not yeah. everybody is bought into the exclusives business mm-hmm. yeah yeah because yeah. it's like how many gamers actually bother playing them it's not also, mostly like fortnite call of duty call of duty fifa so <gasps> so it's like what are they going to look it. best on what are they going to run best on especially the all oh, my headsets die you know no it's fine we're um, it. <laughs> it's going to be um oh it's going nice it's um what's going to it going to run best on 120 frames per second on the xbox series x opposed to Mm. my head in as opposed to the um playstation 5 yeah what's that yeah true i just wish my tv did 120 <laughs> but upgrade it eventually Thanks. as brian's headset is dying we're going to end it there uh please do let us know if you got a xbox what you think of of it in the comments and whether you're going to get a ps5 or whether you're just sticking with the xbox or or getting both leave a like if you enjoyed our uh, review don't forget to click that subs- the sexy subscribe button as Sam always makes me say on this. And yeah. we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. 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 If you like that video, guys, don't forget to leave a like and hit that bell for notifications when we go live or post another video. If you want to see more videos like this, then check out this playlist somewhere around here. And if you would like to subscribe to us, then check out this sexy subscribe button right here. Look how enticing it is. You know you want to click it. And if you're already subscribed, you are an awesome human being.